not one, one solution to the unemployment rate amongst young people was put up by any speaker. The fact is, Mr Speaker, that the National Party has already conceded the principles of my bill. They did that when they have said that the abolition of youth minimum wage has led to unemployment. And that is why the National Party have implemented the job op scheme, giving businesses $5,000 to so hire someone uh, between the age of 15 and 24. They have done that because they know full well that the businesses could not afford to hire them without that subsidy. Instead of facing the truth, instead of facing the truth and reversing the silly policy, the government's solution is to spend more taxpayers' dollars, trying to restore to youth the ability to get a job, which was taken away by the government in the first place. The whole thing, Mr Speaker, is absolutely ridiculous. Whether we want to deny it, and there was everyone in this House was denying it tonight, there is one economic reality that you can't overcome, and that is that wages, wages will always reflect the productivity of the worker. And regrettably, there are thousands of young people who do not have a productive value of $510 a week, and those young people who do not have a productive value of $510 a week, we have said we're going to put you on the scrap heap. We're going to throw you on the scrap heap. In my area, there is a school, a decile six school, that had a test for young people coming into school. And they had one of the questions was, you've got 36 apples and you, you eat 27, how many you got left? Guess how many people got it wrong? Wrong. 23%. One in four got it wrong. The school system has failed these young people. The school system. And what this House is doing is making damn sure that the labour market will fail them as well. What we are doing, Mr Speaker, what we are doing, what the National Party what the Labor Party, what the Green Party, what the Maori Party is saying, say to a young Maori person of 16 years of old, hey, no, you cannot accept the job, even if you're offered one at $400, you can't actually take it by law. By law, we say you can't take that job. You can't go into that job and develop the skills you didn't get, you didn't get at school. You can't get that work experience. You can't get your foot on the ladder. We failed them in the education system and we're failing them uh, in the labour market. We are saying to those young people, we are not going to help you. They could get $400 in the workforce and guess what we say to them? You can't have $400. You can't earn $400. We, you have to go on the dole. You have to go on the dole and we'll give you $160. You, we would prefer you to be $240 worse off than you could otherwise be. And somehow, somehow we are claiming that we care for these young people, don't talk rubbish. We should be ashamed of ourselves, and frankly, that's why New Zealand is in the cart, because we in this House don't have the courage to do what's right. We do what we think is best politically, and it disgusts me.